Let's start with our development process, and this is for the Angular front end. The first thing that we'll do is we'll create a free developer account at Okta.com. Then we'll add an OpenID Connect client application in Okta. Next, we'll set up our app configuration for OpenID Connect. We'll install the Okta SDK dependencies. Then we'll integrate the Okta sign-in widget. Next, we'll develop the login status component for login logout buttons. And finally, we'll update our app module configs to connect the routes. Alrighty, step one of creating a free developer account at Okta.com. This is very straightforward. You simply visit Okta's website, sign up for a free account, and then check your email to verify the account. And also remember, this is a free developer account. There's no credit card required, and it supports up to 1,000 users. So that's more than enough users for you to get your e-commerce application up and running. So in step two, we'll add the OpenID Connect client app in Okta. So in our Okta developer account, We'll create a new application. We'll select the option for single page application. So this is for Angular, React, any of the modern JavaScript front ends. Then I'll get into all the other configuration details later in the video. But this is kind of the basic approach for getting things set up. In step three, we'll set up our app configuration for OpenID Connect. So to connect with Okta, we need to provide some configs. So we need to provide the client ID and the issuer. This information is available on the Okta application details screen. So here we have the client credentials, that's the client ID. So you'll see this identifier here. This is a public identifier of the client app and we'll need this information and use this in our Angular application. And then for issuer, we'll actually make use of our general settings, our actual Okta domain. The Okta domain is a unique domain that's set up for your specific developer account. This is the URL that your application will use for tokens. Alrighty, so using the information from the previous slide, we can set up this file, myappconfig.ts. We'll set up this JSON structure. So for client ID, we'll give the public identifier of the client app, information from that previous slide. And then also for issuer, this is the URL that we're gonna use when authorizing with the Okta authorization server. So again, it's our Okta domain, slash OAuth2, slash default. And for the redirect URI, this is the actual callback. So once a user logs in successfully, then Okta will send them to this given endpoint. So in our application, it's localhost 4200 slash login slash callback. And I'll show you more coding later. I actually tie these items together. And then here we have scopes. So in OpenID Connect, scopes provide access to information about a user, such as their name, phone number, email, department, so on. So the scope has a set of user attributes known as claims. So open ID is required for authentication requests. Profile has a user's first name, last name, phone number, etc. And of course, email contains the user's email address. All right, so moving ahead to step four, we need to install the Okta SDK dependencies. We'll actually use two Okta SDK dependencies. We'll use the Okta sign-in widget, and we'll also use the Okta Angular SDK. So the Okta sign-in widget is a JavaScript library for application login. You don't have to create any of the HTML. We simply integrate this widget into our application and it's also customizable. You can use your own logo, field names, custom fields, and so on. So you can see in this little screenshot here, I actually have the love to code logo there. So it's very easy to customize this. All right, so here's a screenshot of our application and you saw this in the demo, but basically, we actually just dropped in the Okta sign-in widget. So we have our regular application and we simply plug in the Okta sign-in widget. So this widget, it comes out of the box, username, password, it'll do all the authentication for us and so on. We can customize it with our logo and so forth. There's also the Okta Angular SDK. So it provides integration with the Angular router for authentication and authorization. Some of the core features including login logout from Okta using the OAuth2 API. We can also use it to retrieve user information and determine their authentication status. And you saw an example in the demo where we could display the user's name uh, in our actual application and we'll see how to do that uh, here too. And there's also some additional features like we can add protected routes that require authentication and also subscribe to changes in authentication state. And uh, we'll also add functionality for adding protected routes in our given application. All right, so the real nitty gritty here as far as installing the Okta SDK dependencies, you simply run this npm install command. So 
npm install octa slash octa sign in widget and then also npm install octa slash octa angular and it'll install those two dependencies and then we're ready to go.